I've been speaking about seeds for many years, and it's amazing how many conferences and gatherings about uh, the environment or agriculture issues or, or many related issues overlook seeds. And, and I think it's just, it's amazing that they made the choice to put seeds at the center of this conference about the commons. And, you know, for me, seeds are connected to everything. And when I look out and I, and I see people or I see farms and I look out into the world or I see pollution, whatever I'm looking at, I see seeds. I, I, I think I'm like that kid in that Sixth Sense movie who sees dead people. But like, I see seed people, like all, everyone here. So um, we've been talking about a lot of these really big global issues throughout the conference. And so what I wanted to focus on uh, was, you know, what we're trying to do to make a difference. Um, and I want to share a bunch of seed stories with you. So uh, my background is not agricultural. Uh, and it was my interest in local food that really led me to start asking questions about seeds. And so I was learning about all of these issues that we've discussed, the hijacking of seed resources by biotech, the massive loss of genetic diversity, and the environmental and cultural degradation that comes with the, the, that is the effect of those. And I, I know we're often told not to take things personally, but I took it really personally. Uh, and I was like what, can I, like, what can I do about that? I'm one little tiny guy, and here's these big corporate multinational biotech corporations. What can I really do? And, and I realized that there was something I could do. There's something that we can all do, which is learn how to save seeds. As soon as you start saving seeds, whether it's from a few plants in containers, or a backyard garden, or a rooftop garden, or a farm, you're removing yourself from that toxic system. And so I, I started learning how to save seeds. And, you know, it, it was sort of a political act, but it was also, it was so joyful. And, and the relationships that I started having with the plants really, really deepened. And I felt really inspired by the plants. And I felt like, well, this is great. I'm learning how to save seeds, but maybe that's not, I'm not doing enough. What, what else can I do? Can I do more? And so at that time, in 2004, I was working at a little tiny library in a town called Gardner, New York. And I decided to add seeds to the library catalog. And that was the first seed library in a public library in the country. <laughs> and you know, for me, I saw these connections between books and seeds, and I also felt that I could um, use the democratic power of the library system to preserve and protect seeds, to share their stories through checkout and return. And I also saw the potential to reach more people and really create community around seeds. But four years into running the seed library, I was completely seed obsessed, and so I quit my steady library job that actually paid me to show up to work and do things, which was pretty cool, looking back on it, uh, <laughs> and jumped into the unpredictable practice of seed farming. And, but, you know, there was this feeling for me that the seeds were really leading me, that I was following the seeds in some way. I had no idea where I was going, where they were taking me, but I was going to do it anyway. And I, I never imagined that I'd be somewhere like this today, speaking with all of you. And also that I'd have this crazy, amazing collection of artwork about seeds. That wasn't like, I didn't even imagine that. So I quit my job, and luckily my partner, Doug, my amazing partner, Doug, didn't think I was totally crazy. Um, he probably already knew I was a little crazy. Uh, he loved me anyway. Uh, and he quit his job also. And we jumped into this together and wanted to figure out, can we make a living storing seeds? Is this possible? So we started to clear our backfield uh, with a broad fork. You can see that there. Uh, we planted seeds to grow more seeds to share. 
we experience the incredible generosity of plants. From one seed, one tiny seed, sometimes tens, sometimes hundreds, sometimes thousands of seeds were produced. We learned how to grow certified, organic, high-quality seeds in our climatically challenging region, even though a lot of the experts told us that it couldn't be done. We kept planting and harvesting, cleaning seeds, packing seeds, testing them, everything by hand, and then sharing them with others. And we grew into our next evolution where we are now as an ethical seed company. And we also learned about the power of art and its role in changing the industry for the better. And that's what I want to talk more about today, is the art that's here and, and the role of art and what we're doing. And uh, so what we do is uh, I put out a call for art, I look at artists' work that they submit, and then I kind of match up artists with varieties, um, like the matchmaker um, for artists and plants. Uh, and then each unique interpretation from an artist becomes one of our seed packs. And the diversity of the artist's styles, their mediums, their interpretations, it reflects and reifies the importance of the diversity of the seeds that we offer. And we have still life, oil painting, collage, ceramics, stained glass, sculpture, watercolor. Uh, we have all kinds of mediums. And when I first started talking about the idea before we actually did it, people were like, this is never going to work. Your seed packs need to look like the conventional seed packs that come out of conventional seed companies that everyone's doing, or people won't know that they're seeds. It just, it's not going to work. <laughs> but I really wanted to work with artists who work with their hands the same way that we work with our hands on the farm. And so I uh, worked with this amazing local green package design company uh, and commissioned artwork from friends. It was just friends in the beginning. Doug and I grew the seeds, we harvested them, cleaned them, we hand-packed all the seeds, and we put the first bunch of artist-designed seed packs out into the world. And the reactions were, were really strong. Um, people wanted to touch the packs. There was this real, like, people wanted to pick them up. Uh, and, you know, some people laughed. Some people gasped. S some people a lot of people, actually most people, and I think this still happens a lot, picked up the packs, hold them up to their ears, and shake them. <laughs> you know, like, are there really seeds in here? Like, what, what is going on? I won't, I won't judge you all if you do that. It's perfectly acceptable. But be gentle with the seeds. Uh, and we've come a long way. So now our, our seeds are really sought out um, for the artwork, for the seeds themselves, and also for what it represents. Mm -hmm.